Wells Fargo just reporting. We want to get over to Leslie Picker. She has the numbers on that. Leslie. Hey, Becky. Yeah, and the shares are moving lower on these numbers. We see a top line miss, a slight miss on the top line for Wells Fargo, reporting 20.37 billion dollars, uh, which slightly missed analyst estimates. EPS, $1.42 per share, not comparing at this point in time to consensus. Uh, and also net interest income, that's the profitability metric for loan making. That was also slightly below expectations, coming in at $11.7 billion, uh, whereas the street expected $11.9 billion, and that is down 11% year over year. On NII guidance, the company expects 2024 net interest income to be down 9% from 2023's level. That was within expectations that was set last quarter. And uh, the fourth quarter NII is expected to be in line with 3Q levels. Uh, for non-interest income, this is areas like investment banking, advisory fees, and so forth. That was actually up 12% year over year, coming in at $8.7 billion. Uh, and that was a beat relative to expectations. Uh, provision for credit losses, this is pretty interesting as well here, uh, seeing a $1.1 billion provision that was a beat relative to expectations of $1.3 billion. Uh, and some of that was $1.1 billion in net charge-offs, and NCOs actually declined from 2Q levels, and there was a $46 million decrease in allowance for credit losses, which may assume uh, a little bit stronger of a, an economy and a little bit stronger credit quality, perhaps, than, uh, you know, we've seen in, in recent quarters here. Um, Non-interest expense coming in at $13.1 billion. That was also a beat relative to expectations of $13.2 billion. So this is de definitely one to watch. It appears that shares have um, rebounded a little bit on these numbers as investors have had some time to parse through them, guys.